So we we were busy. You know, I'm, I'm learning to make right turns in NASCAR. And um, so we traded back to 50. We got a third round uh, pick in 22 and uh, and picked up Aziz Ojolari, who uh, we had uh, who was a really thrilled to get. He's an edge pass rusher. He's instinctive. He's very bright. Um, he plays hard. And uh, he's got, he's, <clears throat> excuse me, he's got pass rush ability and he's also a solid run play. We're really, really thankful to get him. And then in the third round, we swapped spots with Denver. We wanted to move up. But obviously, we're working on defense today and and we picked Aaron Robinson, who's a, who's a nickel, who's got the ability to play nickel in outside the perimeter. And uh, he's an excellent tackler, ball hawk. You know, he's got all the stuff. So we're really, we're really, really pleased to get these two kids into our program. Questions? Dan Duggan, The Athletic. Hey, Dave. Uh, first of all, did you ever think you'd get addicted to trading back? You know, let me tell you something, Dan. You never know. You never know. It, you know, it, listen, it, it's all about w if the opportunity is right. It's about your board. It's about value meeting need. It's all those things. And uh, like I told you guys last week, I, I've tried in the past and it just had, you know, it just hadn't worked. And we felt we got, you know, just really good value here. And, you know, again, it's, it's one of those deals where, you know, so you take, for example, we moved from uh, 42 back to 50. So that's eight slots. And we had five guys there that we would take at 50, you know, so, you know, you, and the odds are, is eight slots. It's five guys. There's going to be somebody that one of those five is going to be there for you. So we we've just been able to do that. And then, you know, w w with the value we had on, on Aaron, it, we, I, I just didn't want to sit and wait. I, we, you know, we just felt, I mean, he's, he's a press con and I'll let Joe elaborate, but he's a press con and really fits what we do, what we want to do, what, who we want to be on defense. And, uh, you, you know, you, Dan, it's just having the opportunity and, and uh, you know, how, it's how your board lines up. And, and just a follow up, I may just with getting 2022 picks a priority or is that just sort of how things sh uh, shook out? Uh, you know, I, I'd be a liar. To, I'd be, I would be lying if I said it wasn't a priority. It was important to us. Thanks. Zach, Ro Zach Rosenblatt, NJ.com. Hey, hey, Zach. Dave. Hey, how's it going, Dave? I was wondering, um, what, what were you, what was going through your head when you saw Aziz kind of kept falling? He obviously was valued by a lot, a lot of people as a first round pick. I'm just curious, like, what, what, what your thought process was when you saw him dropping, and and how how easy of a pick that was in the second round. Uh, here's what I'm going to say to you, Zach. You have to have confidence in your ability to evaluate players. So you just turn around and 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 just people are missing it for whatever reason. Um, and uh, it didn't scare us. That's for Don Shaw. We're thrilled to get him. I, I just, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of the same thing when, when people cut a player. You know, the, 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 uh, and, and the, the, the instinct is to say what's wrong. My attitude is, you know, they made, you know maybe they made a mistake. So it's, it's one of those deals where, you know, I, the fact that Aziz was dropping – it did not impact us at all in terms of our opinion of his, of his playing ability and what he could do for us. Okay. Matt Lombardo fan sided. Hey Dave, how's it going? Good, Matt. How are you, sir? Good, good. You guys have invested some real resources in the secondary since last year, the draft picks you brought in uh, Bradbury, obviously this year with the Dory and now Aaron Robinson. Um, how does Aaron fit in there and how much closer do you think you are to being a finished product on the back end after all? Well, well you know, the, the, uh, where, excuse me, where Aaron fits in is he gives us more perimeter muscle, so to speak. And he's also got that flexibility to, to, to play the nickel and play the star. So it's, it's, uh, we think he's a great fit, you know, obviously because we traded up. Hello. <laughs> Stating the obvious captain, obvious, you know, we just think he's, you know, he's, he's an, a great fit for our defense and for our back end. And, and we feel like, you know, you can never have too many assets back there because, you know, players come and go, you have injuries, you know, again, it's, it, 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 you know, people will say it's a passing league and it is to a degree. And uh, the other thing that we really liked about Aaron is, you know, we, you know, you do the studies, you do the analytics. I do do it people. And uh, 
you know, the best defenses have the best tackling secondaries. And Aaron Robinson is a really good tackling Connor. We'll take two more. Tom Rock, Paul Schwartz. Tom Rock, Newsday. Dave, was, was Aziz going to be the pick at 42 if you couldn't trade it? And was Robinson one of the five guys who you thought would be there at 50 when, when you did get there? Yes. Yes to both. <laughs> Uh, that's good. That was a sh- good short answer. That I, now I can ask a follow up. Uh, you said that getting picks for next year was important to us. Why is that? This seems like a team that's poised to make a jump in 2021. Why are you so? Uh, uh, why is it so important to get those picks for the future? Well, you know, as we said, I, th- I think I said this at, at the at the pre-draft presser. You know, this this draft right now. This a it's it, in terms of unknowns. This is. You have more unknowns than you can shake a stick at. You have kids that didn't play this year. You have a lot of incomplete medical information. So it's it's really kind of an odd draft class. It's an odd year. The NCAA allowed all those players to get another year, and a ton of them did. So, for example, I, there was there's one of the SEC schools. They had 13 kids decide to go back and play next year. That 13 kids that could have been in this draft. And that, and that was, you know, pretty heavy throughout, you know, the power five conferences. So, you know, we really, you know, just, we really have a feeling that next year's draft is going to be really strong and it just gives you options. Last one, last one here, Paul Schwartz, New York Post. Hey Dave. Hey Paul, how you doing? Good, good. Um, uh, you didn't take an offensive lineman in the first two days. Is that because, I mean, obviously the board and need, and you think maybe there's guys in the fourth or fifth round you can get, but does it also indicate that you like a lot of the guys on your team and you don't have to, you know, force anything? No, actually we were, we were looking at offensive linemen in, in the last two, for the last two picks and the guys, the value didn't meet the pick plain and simple. We had one guy we had our eye on and uh, you know, one, uh, two guys specifically we had our eyes on and they got taken before we could, before they got to us. So no, it's it's you know we're you you always want to add, you know you always want competition, Paul. You know it's 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 it, whether you draft a position or not it has nothing to do with your how happy you are with that position. It has everything to do with the draft value at the time you're picking. 